what's up guys, DS Outdoors here, and today is vlog number two. I'm at my grandma's house in Guelph, and we're going to the Guelph Penitentiary that shut down, I don't know how many years ago? Five. Five years ago, and I heard that there's a couple good fishing spots there, so we're going to go check them out. Doors here, and we finally made it to our destination, and it's pretty cool. There is water everywhere, like literally everywhere. That's all one big lake or pond, and there's like these really cool bridges like everywhere, and the water is pretty clear, and there's a little waterfall right there. So we're gonna go explore now just found some salmon eggs in the creek and there's a couple right there too. Here, I don't know if we can grab that one. Probably can, but I don't want to fall in. Um, well, we might try to grab one later with a stick or something, but we found a bundle of salmon eggs. And a big thanks to my dad for driving me here. Um, he's gonna have a channel up soon. This is the prison. A prison, you can't really see it from here, but they're behind the tree line, so we maybe might go see it. Depends how far we get. A passage, we're going to Netherlands now. There's, that was the first lake right there. And it's really big, but under this one, it's even bigger. Oh, my. Ow! I almost broke my ankle. Oh my goodness. So the prison, what penitentiary is on top? So the prison is all the way up there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It kind of looks like a castle. It's like right there. Um. Wow. This is amazing. I can't really see because there's a lot of... I don't know if it's my head. This is huge, just like double the size of the other one. Some ducks there. So we're gonna play a dope beat roll in three, two, one. amazing there's water everywhere like there's, you're very limited in places you can walk because there's a lot of places you can probably get to but I don't think this is usually overflowed I think these are two separate things so that's another pond or like a creek or something because there's like a waterfall over there too I think all this water is connected probably somewhere but this place is amazing and then there's a road up there where the stones are, and it leads all the way to the prison up there. So we're gonna see how close we can get to the prison, but we're probably not gonna be able to get that close. This place is, oh my goodness. I don't wanna walk on this, cause I don't know if it's gonna fall or break. This is so cool. 
Look at that water. This is beautiful. And then there's this just dammed up place, I guess. There might be a lot of turtles here in the summer. This is really nice. I don't think I've ever been to a, like a water park this nice. Yeah. It's kind of sad because the prisoners didn't know what they were actually like living in. Because they probably never got to come outside. They were just inside. That's the ones who tried to escape. <laughs> no, they would probably swim. Can you imagine driving up to this, though? Coming, Look at that. Can you imagine the guys who have to spend, like, years and years in this prison, and they have to see this? They'd probably cry because yeah. they're going into a hole, and paradise was right here. I kind of wish we walk up the road. That's actually the Guelph Soccer Club up there. Up there is the Guelph Soccer Club. Right there. So... Close to the it's pretty prison. cool. We're getting really close to the prison, so it's one of the towers. Um, we're gonna try to see how close we can get. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that close, but yeah, we can probably get close, but not. We might not be able to get inside. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Maybe another time, <laughs> but it's abandoned, like completely abandoned. This place, this property is so nice. There's so many people walking their dogs. We're almost at the prison. It's right there, and it, it seems really sad, like. It's it's kind of hard to look at because so many people were in there before. Well, it's not really sad. They were in there for their fault. But it's just sad that such a big building is just sitting there taking up so much space. They should be donating it to shelters. Yeah, that would be that would actually be kind of weird though. Homeless people living inside no, a prison. You, well, you could renovate it to make it look. Maybe that's what they're doing. Decent. Maybe that's why. No, so they, we're, they we're, will tear that building down and sell this land to, to private owners. So we're on a road that they blocked off for, so cars can't drive down here. But we're almost at the prison. We're pretty close. Anyways, but I'll show you guys when we get there. It's beautiful. It, it looks, it's beautiful in a weird way. Like prisons, I don't think prisons are supposed to be beautiful, but because it's abandoned and no one's probably been inside for five years, it's just... Seven, oh, seven. And it's just, it's amazing. So, we're gonna try to maybe, we're gonna try, everything's boarded up so you can't get inside. I don't think I would wanna go inside anyways, it would be creepy. And that's kind of trespassing. But I don't think they would really care. But there's a college right there, so they probably come in here and party, they probably have a way to get in. This is really beautiful. This is, this is the main entrance, probably? Yeah, this is the main So this is the main entrance. Look at those lights. This is so beautiful. Just sitting there. So These guys are the new guards. <laughs> up there, right there. Canadian geese. The fences. There's barbed wire. Fire up there still. This fence is really tall here. We're in comparison. So this is how big the fence is compared to me. It's probably like three times my size. So there's no way you would get over that. Like. And that fence is sharp. Like the edges, when you hold it, it's still like uncomfortable. Wow, it's amazing. cells right here and it just looks so sad like they're all you probably couldn't even see that if they could see it I would die if I saw all that land I would want to get outside I would get tempted now you can see why people make the great escapes and this fence oh my gosh dad there's still even the thing where you can like press the button and talk right there This is a prison in mind, and there's probably, like, the government still owns it. We're not going to go down there because the fence just goes, like, all the way down. You can't get around that, but we're probably going to 
go check out some more water because that's pretty much all of the we're getting hungry so we're about to leave guys that's the end of the video thanks for watching hopefully we come back some other time to fish and we'll bring a couple rods and i don't know how it's gonna go but it should be awesome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button let's go for 10 likes awesome